This is the ComEd Electrosearch Calibration Verification or PCI form. Top half is the equipment identification the hospital XYZ facility name. The inspecting agency biomedical department. We also have the ECN or equipment control number which is the index number or asset tag followed by the date. We have the equipment manufacturer, which is ComMed, the model, Africator 2000, and serial number, followed by, which is the test fluke. equipment, RF-303 Electrosurge Analyzer. Moving along, here are some visual and operational inspections. Inspections as form. chassis and housing, mounts, AC plug, check breaker, fuses, cables, fittings, control switches. We will check also the return fault, which is the contact between Plate the and the dispersive. patient. Basically its purpose is to monitor, detect, and interrupt a break in the line or poor connections between the dispersive plate and the patient. Standard uh, interruption is to shut off the electrical surge. We will also check the LEDs and lights for the return electrode monitor or REM and any labeling on the device. Moving along. First Top test is power the test. The power output is the output of the current density or the power to the skin site. A 500 you can ohm test your load. OEM service manual for specific ohm values for your device. In our case, a 500 test load simulates body impedance or AC a patient resistance. or operator on the low side. 750 ohm simulates a we can high compute target analyzer current. does not measure up to 100 ohm load. For example, the formula is total current measured in NA equals 1,000 times the square root of the power total divided by the resistor load. Let's imagine our analyzer's maximum test load is 7. To calculate our new NA ratings, we replace the total power at the maximum setting of 28 watts and divide that by 750 ohms, which is our new resistor load. Then we take the square root of that and multiply 1000, which equals 193 milliamps. Why do we perform this test? To ensure for linearity for percentage of accuracy rated current, the ideal produces actual power settings on the display and it is within manufacturer acceptable plus or minus 10%. Power output is measured in watt. RF leakage. RF leakage is the high frequency output current from the active electrode to earth ground or AC to a ground. 200 ohm test In our load. case, the 200 ohm test load simulation body impedance. Why do we perform this test? To ensure that any current that could find its way to earth ground on an alternate AC path ground. is low enough to not cause patient or operator shocks, burn, new or electro surges by design have isolated circuits and monitoring systems for early detection, separation of the dispersive electrode from the patient as an enhanced consult safety service measure. manual for details to what type of isolation it's open or has. isolated or if it's earth ground. RF leakage is measured in milliamps. Crest factor. Crest factor is the ratio of the peak value to the root mean square value. Basically it's a figure point. of merit or performance of the device which describes the AC waveform signal and shape. measure the loaded Peak to peak, or peak, which is half peak to peak voltages, played using our OSCOM oh. with a BNC cable. For example, if we divide peak voltage by RMS value, and to calculate our RMS value, we simply divide the peak to peak voltage by one half and multiply it by 0.707. Or another way is we can utilize the RF current multiplied by our resistance to calculate our RMS voltage. Note, a higher than normal crest implies that there's some degree of impact, such as component wear, 
higher impedance, noise, waveform distortions. We measure and document the high crest factors for coag, and low which is normal. crest factors for cutting, which is also normal, as well as document any distortions or noise. Finally, we include any sections required documenting AC leakage, which is less than or equal to 150 milliamps, and the ground resistance, which is less than or equal to 5 or 500 ohms. The technician signs and prints his name, which completes cow verification.